Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went through some of Trillo's testimony and it seems like there's nothing really in his testimony that points directly to Max being the culprit. There's some fishy stuff, uh, but there's not really anything in here that can 100% prove that Max is guilty. And so we're going through his third testimony. He's trying again to prove that he's not blindsided by his rivalry with Max over a 16-year-old girl, and yeah, we're just gonna get started. I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina, but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Hmm. So that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then money snatched the ring and you went ch chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I suppose about five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in the five minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Waiting for that night for Regina. So you were only concerned with waiting for Regina that night. That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should think about how many eyes I actually have. I got four, you know? Four. F-O-U-R. Counting Ben, of course. With that many eyes, do you think really think someone then would have slipped by me? Four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Yikes, the judge is even more dangerous to our case than Trillo. That doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza. So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of course that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring at the entrance at the tent the whole time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. She showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. About what time would you say these events took place? You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out by yourself. You already know the practice finished promptly at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just to add 10 more minutes, I'm sure you can do that. Now what time was it? Indeed, what time was it? Hmm, what time was it? Let me think about that for a second. Yow! No good at math! Ah, uh, it was 10, 10 p.m. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. Could they really not do t 0 plus 10? Come on! Sounds about right because that's the time I saw Max on the scene. Okay, here's uh, an important one. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone who at night. What, Ben? You got something to add? Let me guess. That's not it, Trilla. You say good evening at night. Uh, I'm sorry, Trillo. Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist's act outside of the courtroom. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performances. You should know better. There's gotta be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Uh, Trillo's evening greeting. Isn't that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ow! That hurt! Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max. 
And hey, Felix actually did learn that back in grade school because of the Edgeworth thing. But how do I go about proving that with the evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world, but I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Absolutely sure it, it was him. You're 100% absolutely sure of what you just said. I told you already, jeez, I'm 100% absolutely sure. There's no way you could, have, could be any more confident than Seth, right? Okay, here's an important one. There's no way I would mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? If you gotta ask again, I'll ask everyone... I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now. Silk hat. Cloak. White roses. Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? But it's fun shouting with everyone else. There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. I agree, but do we have the proof to make something stick? All we can do is try, right, Nick? We've got to have something that'll prove useful. All right, time to go to work. So now that we've pressed uh, statements four and six, we want to go to statement four again. You'll remember that it's weird that they would be cordial because previously, the last time, or one of the last times they interacted was when the bottle was broken over, uh, or excuse me, when Max clonked Ben with the bottle. Objection. Trillo. Is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal, it was just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. Ah! That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? W what? Is that an admission of a assault and battery? Ouch! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is that Ugh. the truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way that they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on stand. There's no way a puppet this lewd would ever just up and say good evening to his rival. Quah! He thinks this witness is lying, that he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene. I, I, I didn't tell a single lie, honest, I just... That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He saw a different person. It's my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there's only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That's why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Ah, uh, What in the world? You! Would the defense kindly explain who it was that Trillo saw in the evening, then? Well, the one person that we know he's, that went to the crime scene. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. No, Your Honor. It is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah. I suppose you've got a point there. It was Russell Berry. The victim is himself, was it not? You are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's where you greeted him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Well... Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Wah! Ah!
Order, order. How do you respond to this? Wait a second. Well, at first I thought it was that old man. But, but, but once I got a better look, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. I think it is high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quest obviously witnessed a single person in the area on the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica, or was it the Ringmaster, one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? Alright, this is getting old. Come on, man, you gotta remember them by now. Here we go again. Everyone, all together now. Ow! Yes, yes, we know. The silk hat, cloak, and white roses. A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Max Maximilian Galactica? Could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes! I think we finally won a point in this one. That is very unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question. The evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no other person than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Very well. The court will take a ten minute recess. During that time, I request that the prosecution prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess.